Hey guys, back with another video today, and today I'm going to be reviewing my Eskimo Redneck uh, Spud Bar. So they call it an Ice Chisel Spud Bar. Everyone has different names for them. They all pretty much are the same thing. So we'll just get right into it again. So it does come with a protective cover on the blade part, which is very important. And I did buy this, well, I got it for as a present, but I did get it slightly used, so the place we bought it from, the guy used it to crush ice out in his driveway. So it is kind of marred up in the front, but otherwise that's all it's been used for. So I don't actually have super thick ice anywhere um, to go out on a lake or pond or river to show you but I did have ice in my sister's sled because it filled up with water. So, I don't actually know how long this is. So I am like 5'5", five five. and so this is probably 5'4" ish feet tall it's about as tall as me so it is probably better suited for an adult but i they don't really make kid size spud bars so the handle actually does take up about two feet of it which is good and i will probably be doing more of a two-handed strategy because no way i'm lifting and spudding with one hand so it does have the ability to take it in half right here, which you do by simply sliding this pin just right off and around. And then you just sit it down and you pull it out. So it's got some grease on it. And then you can just pull it apart. And now you can fit it in a small SUV because now it's only about three and a half feet long. So that is very handy. And for the remainder of these clips, I will be showing you in each half. So I'll show you the blade and I'll get into the weight of this. This thing probably weighs about 25 pounds, maybe a bit less, maybe 20 pounds. But it's pretty heavy, and as you can see, it has this pattern of blade. It's not really a blade, it's dull. Um, so it's got this pattern on it, and then the other side is flat. But yeah, so this does cut ice very well. Uh, I do know that. Um, I do believe, yeah, this is just solid right here. This is not hollow. So that is solid. And then the handle part, let me show you that. It has this little nub here. So if it does spud through, you can kind of catch it right there. You have this handle here too, which you can easily take off if you want to, just like that. But I will be adding a rope to the back of this, just because if it does happen to go through, um, I want more of a chance to get it, like to kind of catch it, so yeah. This part, it is painted well, so it does kind of slide along the hand when you're chiseling, but that's a good thing, and it does have grip when you want. So yeah, the handle's nice, it's not soft, it's just like a shovel handle. So pretty ordinary to your garden tool, and you're not going to be wanting to hold it like this, because it does have this ring here. So it's really just kind of that. And you should be able, just the way the bit is, or the blade, you should be able to just make holes in it, obviously like six inches or less. Um, you, you would want an auger for that, but you can see Eskimo redneck chisel. It's probably flipped because of the video. But yeah, I like this chisel a lot, um, this spud bar, and I'm excited to use it in this ice fishing season. Um, it should work just fine. 
um, like any other spud bar. And this, for those of you that don't know, some people do just use it to make their hole, but the main reason why people usually buy these is you got your ice picks to prevent you from falling through the ice. Um, I mean, no, you got your spud bar to prevent you from falling through the ice. So this will check the ice as you go along. And then you have your ice picks around your neck which will, or your kind of shoulder right here, which that will protect you. If you do fall in, that will give you traction to get out. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you in the next video, which will probably be about ice fishing safety gear. So see you next time.